So today we are going to discuss the axis of each bipolar and unipolar limb lead. We were basically discussing the vectorial analysis and in the last lecture we discussed when whenever there is a depolarization occurring in the heart when there is depolarization occurring in the heart basically there are small vectors small vectors that are forming in all direction because the electric current is spreading in the whole of the heart the heart muscle and it is also spreading to the other body part other body parts from where it can be detected but if we calculate and we add up all these small vectors we get a a large vectors which basically is known as instantaneous mean vector at the time the time the instant in which it is it is detected it is known as instantaneous mean vector and it could be in any direction it could be in the right direction it could be in the left direction it could be upward it could be downward but normally we discussed that normally in the normal human heart this vector is at around 59 degrees now how this 59 degree has been calculated so today we are going to discuss the the axis the normal axis of each bipolar and unipolar limb lead basically this is this is a formula or this is a measuring gauge for calculating the vector of a uh, a normal human heart or an abnormal activity that is occurring in the human heart when we when we try to measure the height of a building we will use a measuring scale when we try to you uh, measure the weight or the mass of some some, some object we will use a measuring machine a weight machine similarly when we try to detect or determine the axis of the vector of the heart we will use a measuring scale which look like this so this is basically the measuring scale for determining the degree or the variation of the normal human cardiac cardiac vector in this measuring scale all the different bipolar and unipolar limb leads have been given a certain number a certain degree in which it is fixed and this this data is basically fixed in ecg machine this data of these degrees and the variation is basically fixed in ecg machine by applying the ecg machine to different parts of the human body it is able to determine that whether the vector of the the cardiac axis is normal or it's abnormal and it can determine the direction of the axis with the help of ecg strip so basically in this measuring scale if we take first of all the lead one the bipolar limb lead which we discussed that it is obtained by connecting the right arm with the left arm so it is a straight direction it is a straight direction starting from the right and pointing toward the left arm so this this lead one this lead one is represented with the help of zero degree and it is basically directing from the left arm towards the right arm in a horizontal plane and it is given a zero degree angle because this is a complete circle and we know that a circle a circle is basically 360 degrees the whole circle is basically 360 degrees so if we divide the circle if we divide the circle here we will have a zero line or 180 degree and here we will have a 90 degree 
So by that means the lead one, which is basically connecting two arms, the, the right arm with the left arm, this is a horizontal line and this has been assigned to the lead one. Now lead one will be looking at the heart from this, this direction. The vectors are present in any direction. It could be in any direction, but the, the lead one will be always in the, in this position it will always be fixed if if the if the vector is somewhat like here it will be it will have a different impact on lead one if the vector is like here it will have a different impact on lead one if the vector is like here it will have a different impact on here on the lead one similarly the lead two which is basically obtained lead two is basically obtained between the right arm and the left foot so this is basically like this it starts from the right arm and it ends toward the left foot so this lead to it has been plotted from this angle towards here here is the human heart here is the left arm and here is the left foot so if we take this angle it comes like almost 60 degrees so the lead 2 is basically 60 degrees and this is basically fixed number. Now when it comes to lead 3, lead 3 is basically obtained by connecting the left arm, the left arm with the right, uh, sorry, the left arm with the left foot. And so this lead 3 is basically obtained by connecting, the, if we imagine this is a human body, here is the left arm and here is the uh, left foot so this lead is obtained in this direction starting from the negative and coming towards the positive and here its its value is 120 degrees by same by the same measure in by applying the same formula different numbers are obtained for for the augmented leads now the augmented leads the augmented leads are basically obtained by combining all the negatives all the negatives like one lead one lead two lead three avf avl for example here all the negatives are combined and the positive is present on one on one lead that one lead could be AVL similarly it could be AVF and similarly it could be AVR so here, here we are taking AVR for example AVR and AVF as negative and we will take AVL as a positive. So when all the other leads, they are combined together and they make the indifferent electrode or the negative electrode, they, their resistance is combined and it is measured against this one positive electrode. This is basically then known as the Vinson Central Terminal. So Vinson Central terminal so all the leads are combined and the, the avr is obtained it looks at the right arm so its value come at here at 210 degrees then if all the other leads are combined and the avf which looks at the left foot it is obtained so all the other leads are combined into the Vinson central terminal and the positive is taken as AVF then AVF is looking at the foot so it is taken as 90 degrees it is looking like this towards the left foot then if all the other leads are combined and the positive lead is taken as AVL all the other leads are clubbed together in Vinson central terminal and the positive is taken at the left arm AVL is obtained then it is looking towards the left arm and we have minus 30 or 330 degrees so 
the lead one is basically zero degree coming down lead two is 60 degree avf is basically 90 degree and lead three is basically 120 degree avr is basically 210 degree and the avf the avf if it is, it is it is normally 90 degree but if it is in the reverse direction then it will be 270 or minus 90 degree similarly the the avl it will be minus 30 degree or 330 degree so these are basically the values against which the vector will be measured this is a measuring scale against which the heart or the cardiac axis will be measured so this scale will remain permanent this scale will remain fixed these values will be fed into an ecg machine and the ecg machine the leads of the ecg machine will be applied to different leads and with the help of this data it, the ecg machine will be able to take the vector and the axis of the heart so so now that's all about the normal axis of each bipolar and unipolar limb lead and in the next lecture we are going to discuss how we can determine the the exact axis of a vector from with the help of this measuring scale thanks a lot for watching the video